This is the eighth and last video in this series of tutorials on how to connect to a MySQL database using PDO and work with the database records. We've looked at using named parameters instead of placeholders in the prepared statement, and now we'll go on to see how to insert new records into the database using the prepare method, first with placeholders and then with named parameters. Make a new file and call it insert.php. Put in our PHP tags and include the connection file connect.php. If you've done the rest of the course, this will be getting quite familiar by now. To use a prepared statement to insert records, we use prepare and then insert into and then the table name, and then parentheses and then a comma separated list of the field names, the column names, so that's first name, last name and postcode, and then values and then a matching comma separated list only this time we're going to substitute the values for these placeholder question marks. And remember that the question marks do not go inside quote marks. And as before, bind the values and execute the statement. Go and run insert.php in the browser and of course we get nothing returned to the browser because we haven't asked for any output and then go to PHP my admin refresh the database and we see this latest record inserted or using name parameters instead of question marks which is probably preferable would replace all the question marks with colon and then the field name column name and the same down in the bind value lines and remember they have to be inside quotes in the bind value lines and the net result is exactly the same Go back to the browser and load up insert.php again and it should insert that record where the names begin with J. Refresh PHP my admin and indeed it has. Now we'll update existing records. Copy insert.php and rename the copy update.php. So I've changed the insert statement into an update one so we've got update and then the table name, update names set postcode that's the field name and then we use the name parameter so it's set postcode equals colon postcode where first name equals colon first name so we're looking for a certain first name and then we're changing the postcode on the basis of that we'll check the postcode of this last record jenny and it's jj229 jj and we'll change that we'll match the name jenny and change the postcode we don't need last name anymore, so that line can go. And then we'll just change the postcode for a new one. We'll make it something completely different. So that it's obvious that it's been changed. Go back to the browser and refresh update.php. Refresh the database and check that postcode. And indeed the change has happened. Deleting records is a very similar process. Let's copy insert.php. And rename and modify that. There's the prepared statement turned into a delete query, delete from names where first name equals colon first name. So we're looking for a certain first name, and if we find it, we'll delete all the records uh, that match it. We don't need those other two bind value lines, we can delete those, and we'll leave Jenny as the first name to search for and delete the matching record. Run delete.php, go back to localhost and refresh and check that Jenny's disappeared. And indeed she has, so that works. That's that. I hope that was clear enough to get you going using PDO connections, prepared statements and name parameters on your projects.